everyone my account page is one of the most important web pages for any woocommerce store owner this is because it holds lot of essential customer information such as their orders billing addresses payment methods account details and many more however the requirements for every store owner is different and so they all need to customize my accounts page Thus it is very crucial to know the right way to customize the WooCommerce my accounts page. So in today's video I am going to show you how you can customize the WooCommerce my accounts page with ease. I'm Aparna Singh there from LearnWoo and let's get started. You can customize WooCommerce my accounts page in two ways. One by using code snippets and two by using the WooCommerce plugins. First, let's see how you can customize WooCommerce My Accounts page by using snippets. Snippets are very useful if you have the development skill to customize the page according to your store needs. So let me show you how you can do that. First, I'll be using a code snippet to add a new tab to WooCommerce My Accounts page. For that, go to Appearance editor now if the snippet is in php file format you can place php snippets at the bottom of your child theme functions.php file css on the other hand should be placed in your child theme style.css file like here you can see that snippet to add a new tab to woocommerce my accounts page is in php format so here i'm clicking on functions.php and now add the code snippet in the functions.php file of the activated website theme. The code is mentioned in the description for your use. Once the code is added, my accounts page will have a new tab. Similarly, to hide or rename a my account tab, add the code snippet in the functions.php file of your activated website theme. The code is mentioned in the description for your use. Well, below in the description, I have also mentioned code snippets to merge My Accounts tab. Next, let's see how you can customize WooCommerce My Accounts page by using plugins. If you don't possess the development skills, then a plugin might be the best option for you. With the help of plugins, you can customize the My Accounts page to provide your customers with the information that they are searching for, answers to their questions via FAQs, or allow them to download user or instructional guides. One such plugin is WP Everest. This plugin makes customizing the My Accounts page easier. Let's see how it works. For that, go to Plugins, Add New, Search WP Everest. Now install this plugin and then activate it. Once you install the plugin, let me first show you how you can add new tabs to the My Accounts page. For this, I'll be using code snippets. By default, this plugin provides you few tabs on your My Accounts page. Well, to add tabs, you can simply go to Appearance, Theme Editor, themes functions.php add the three code snippet that are mentioned in the description which include code snippet to add new endpoint and code snippet to add content to the ending point now here in the code snippet to add content to the ending point you can see your new content where you can add the content to your new tab once done, click update file. Now if you go to the my accounts page, you can find your new tab here. Next, let me show you how you can create new form. For that, go to user registration, add new. Here you can see it has popped up all the shortcuts that can be used while designing the layout. Here with this add new option, you can add more sections to your form. On the left hand side, you can see default user fields, extra fields, advanced fields, WooCommerce billing address, WooCommerce shipping address, and payment fields. Now, every field has numerous options that you can drag and drop to your form. Like here, I have dragged and dropped a few of them that my store requires.
Once done, click Create Form. You can also edit this form later by going to WordPress dashboard, User Registration, All Forms, and clicking Edit on the form you want to edit. Next, go to WordPress dashboard, User Registration, All Forms, Go to the form that you created and copy the short code mentioned in front of the form. Now go to Pages, All Pages, My Account, Edit and paste the copied shortcut here. Once done, Update. Now if we go to the My Accounts page, this is how it looks with the form you had created. You can also enable or disable various tabs with the help of this plugin. To enable or disable tabs, simply go to User Registration, Settings, General, and General Options. And from here, you can enable or disable profile picture, logout, confirmation, and you can also edit your endpoint section. Next, if you go to the login options, you can also enable and disable more tabs like login title, remember me, lost password, etc. Once done, save changes. Now in the front end, your My Accounts page looks like this. And that was it. This is how you can customize the My Accounts page for WooCommerce store in two simple steps. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.